This is a breaking news alert from 7 Action News. Breaking news this morning, the jury has reached a verdict in the Kwame Kilpatrick corruption trial. We want to get right to 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo, who is downtown outside the federal courthouse. Heather, what can you tell us? Well, Anu, as you know, the jury has been deliberating for 14 days, and now first thing Monday morning, they come in and they let the judge know that they do have a verdict in this historic trial. Of course, as you know, there has been five months of testimony, 91 different witnesses, so many of those government agents that told so many stories of the evidence that they brought in of what they say was corruption, that City Hall in this town was for sale. Again, a jury has reached a verdict in the Kwame Kilpatrick federal corruption trial. He, along with his father, Bernard Kilpatrick, as well as friend Bobby Ferguson, all accused of running a criminal enterprise. Heather, I want to stay with you for a little bit longer. Can you talk to us a little bit more about these charges? Again, 33 counts, correct, that they have decided on? Absolutely. Of course, count number one, which will be the first one read, my understanding is, is the big racketeering charge. And of course, it'll be very interesting to see what the jury decides on that and whether that count will then have an impact on the rest of the counts. Because count number one encompasses 26 different alleged different called predicate acts, essentially kind of 26 different crimes within that count. The jury has to decide on two of those acts. If they unanimously agree that on two of those things, these three men agreed to commit these acts, then you have... The RICO. They will. They will, could be found guilty on RICO. Then the rest of the charges are bribery and extortion charges. Now a lot of the extortion and attempted extortion charges are in line with what are what with what the acts are within RICO. These are live Constable pictures Sal right Gardens. now of Kwame Kilpatrick leaving. I believe it's his mother's feeling, house. Can you talk to us just for a moment? We're trying to get a word from Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick right now. Kwame, can you just, tell us how you're feeling? Just your thoughts, just your thoughts please, for today. Please. Just your thoughts on the day. He's uh, not having anything to say. Our photographer has been out here since 8 o'clock. There was absolutely no movement in the house at all. Uh, this is the home of Carolyn Cheeks Kilpatrick, former U.S. Congresswoman, uh, Kwame Kilpatrick's mother. This is where he's been staying for the last several weeks on a tether for violating his state parole. And uh, we were wondering if he had gotten out early this morning, but just a few minutes ago, this white car pulled up, honked the horn. Mr. Kilpatrick, as you saw, came out the front door, and he is now heading down down to the federal courthouse. Again, the verdict is going to be read in 25 minutes, but we do want to remind our viewers that unlike many cases where you can have a camera in the courtroom and so you see that jury being rec read in federal court, that is not allowed at all. Uh, we can't even get the audio of the verdict being read. So we're going to be getting it on what we call our verdict live blog that you can follow along. You're going to see this come in literally as we see it come in. It's um, There's going to be a, a computer screen that we have up and they'll be checking off guilty, not guilty for each of the counts. So that that will happen, it's estimated, in about 24 minutes from right now. Oh, we're getting great. it right here. Guilty. We have right. guilty. This is the first count. Now, this is the racketeering count. Kwame Kilpatrick, guilty. Bobby Ferguson, guilty of the racketeering conspiracy count. And Bernard Kilpatrick, a hung jury on that first count. So there is one of the counts they could not agree on. Let's go to count two. This is extortion now. This is regarding a sewer lining contract. Again, Kwame Kilpatrick, guilty of count two of extortion. Bobby Ferguson was also charged in this uh, in this count as well and he also is guilty this is count two of extortion already right there two guilty verdicts up to 20 years in prison a loss for the defense at least on the first two verdicts so far and now we're looking at count three extortion here amendment to the sewer lining contract and uh, of course you could read there if found guilty on count three the defendants could face up to 20 years in prison a uh, guilty for Kwame Kilpatrick on count three extortion and Bobby Ferguson, guilty as well. Count nine will be guilty. This is uh, guilty once again for former mayor of Detroit, Kwame Kilpatrick. And count nine, extortion, repair of east side water mains. This is a stunning, stunning victory for the prosecution. Most all guilty verdicts at this point with a couple of hung uh, jury counts for Kwame Kilpatrick and one for Bar Bernard Kilpatrick. Well, we are live outside federal court here, Joanne. Good afternoon. Uh, it was quite a scene. Kwame Kilpatrick staring at the jurors before the verdict was read as Judge Nancy Edmonds was thanking them. Almost looked like he was near tears. Then the, the verdict was read and he simply looked down at the at his notes and took notes as his lawyer did as well. Did not show much emotion, but no question this is a big win for the feds, at least as it relates to Bobby Ferguson and Kwame Kilpatrick and uh, Kwame Kilpatrick's father, Bernard Kilpatrick, essentially, I would say, has, has had a good day. He only got uh, that one tax charge, which carries up to three years, but uh, he was found not guilty on some counts and there 
there was uh, no verdict rendered on the big RICO charge. So now you know that there will be a bunch of agents and analysts delving into where did all the money go and can we get any of it back for the government. All right, we uh, had that statement from Mayor Bing's office. I'll send it over to you, uh, Jeff and Joanne, to, uh, to deliver that to us. Yeah, thank you. We just got this. Mayor Bing said today, I am pleased that this long trial has ended and we can finally put this negative chapter in Detroit's history behind us. It is time for all of us to move forward with a renewed commitment to transparency and high ethical standards in our city government. That was Mayor Dave Bing responding to the, uh, the outcome today. 24 guilty verdicts for Kwame Kilpatrick, 9 for Bobby Ferguson, 1 for Bernard Kilpatrick. For Ryan live to Scott, yeah. Uh, the car that Com Kwame Kilpatrick left in has just arrived. I don't see him inside. It looks like the two people that took him down to the courthouse are here, but not Mr. Kilpatrick. Let's see if we can get any information from them as to where uh, the mayor went. Possibly he's at his lawyer's office uh, since Tom Cramner was just saying they have a bond hearing at 1 o'clock, so they could be down there making preparations for that. Folks, can you tell me where Kwame is? We're all interested to hear what he has to say. Okay, yeah. can you guys hear okay. me? Okay. Yes, can you guys hear me? Uh, several right Kilpatrick family members have arrived here. Oh, oh, oh. And all. Scott, who is that yelling okay. in the background? I understand. I understand we, we, have, we have no comment. Period. No comment. And you can stand out here all day long. We have no comment. Okay. okay. Could you identify yourself, sir? Raymond Cheeks. Okay, okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Raymond Cheeks, and that's the mayor's cousin, I believe. Uh, there was another relative yelling in the background for us to get away. I think this is the mayor's grandfather, the elderly gentleman, getting out of the car. I guess they didn't appreciate reporters uh, talking, trying to talk to him. Uh, but uh, you heard there from uh, the mayor's cousin that there will be no comment, at least from family members, whether Kwame Kilpatrick himself will have something to say when he arrives here is yet to be seen. Well, you, can, you understand the emotions running high after a day like this. But we do hope to hear from the former mayor sometime today. And we are following breaking news right now on the Kilpatrick corruption trial verdict for you. We have been live all morning long on air and on our website at WXYZ.com. That's right. I'm Jeff Vaughn. This is Joanne Pert. We're joined by Tom Kramer, legal expert, along with Chuck Stokes, editorial director here at WXYZ. It's been a very, very busy morning. Let's go straight now to downtown to 7 Action News investigator Heather Catala, which has been following this story from the very beginning. Heather, good morning. Good morning, and Jeff, of course, this is such a stunning day. Kwame Kilpatrick guilty on 24 different charges, including racketeering conspiracy, the almighty RICO charge, guilty. Bobby Ferguson, guilty on that one as well. Both guilty on extortion charges. Bernard Kilpatrick, the jury did not find him to be part of that racketeering, part of that RICO charge. I'm sure his attorney is counting this as a victory. Only one tax charge of guilty for Bernard Kilpatrick, which honestly is not that surprising considering the way some of the evidence came in. Um, there was definitely some question about the level of Bernard Kilpatrick's involvement with certain things or at least what some of the evidence that they were able to show. So um, it, it was quite a zoo down here earlier as the defendants were leaving federal court. Things have calmed down because that jury is talking and a lot of the attorneys are still inside the building. I believe they've moved to some of the overflow rooms and they're listening to the jury answer the questions from the report. I don't believe uh, the federal prosecutors have come out either, so I suspect they're listening as well. Of course, there's still many more people we'd like to speak to about this stunning verdict today, and hopefully as they make their way out of federal court, we'll be able to ask some questions. But a huge, huge victory for the government. Guilty Kwame Kilpatrick, guilty Bobby Ferguson, 24 and 9 counts respectively. Bernard Kilpatrick, guilty on a tax charge. Back to you. Well, what do you have for us, Heather? Okay, Mike Ratzai, one of Bobby Ferguson's lawyers, is joining me live. Mike, just your gut reaction to today's verdict. Well, obviously, we're uh, disappointed, to say the least, Heather. Um, I was surprised by the verdict. Um, I thought for sure that we had established reasonable doubt on the RICO counts and uh, the other substantive counts of bribery and extortion. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. What do you make of your client having been the one that was wiretapped and yet they could not come to a decision on the biggest charge of all for him? 
Uh, boy, it's a good question, Heather, and I haven't thought about it. Thank you very much. John Shea talking to us live about the decision here in court today. His client faring the best of all of them, and obviously still a lot of shock, a lot for these attorneys to take in with today's verdict. It looks like uh, Mr. Ferguson and his legal team, if we want to turn over here, uh, they're coming back in to go back up for the detention hearing. Uh, they're on their way back into court. Mr. Ferguson, how, how are you doing, Mr. Ferguson? I'm great. God is good. It's, it's all in God's hand. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ferguson. Mr. Ferguson saying again, God is good. As his attorneys have told us many times throughout this trial, he's a very spiritual man, as I was talking about earlier today. Um, he would often read a prayer book before uh, testimony would begin for each day. So they're heading back into the federal court to um, have this hearing on whether or not they'll be remanded back into federal custody. It'll be very interesting to see what the judge decides. We'll know that answer shortly. Back to you. Breaking news. Detention is required in his circumstance, Edmund says. Kilpatrick and Ferguson will be remanded for detention. They're going behind bars. That is the breaking news. Just now from the courtroom, the judge has remanded both of these gentlemen to custody uh, while they await sentencing. Uh, Marshall just approached Kilpatrick, presumably to take him into custody. So this has got to be an emotional day. I know we don't have cameras in that bond hearing, but with his mother sitting right behind him, I would imagine, and all of those family members, that it's got to be an emotional time right now. Absolutely. The other shoe drop, that's what's happened here, was the conviction and the shock of that for them. And then now that uh, their freedom is gone. I was struck by the poignant moment that after Judge Nancy Edmonds ruled that they would be detained, she called it a close call. Kwame Kilpatrick had to take off his uh, sport coat, his cufflinks, his belt, his watch, empty his pockets, and hand all of that to his family members. The same with uh, Bobby Ferguson. Uh, he had to uh, dress down to basically his clothes. And then as Kilpatrick was leaving court, handcuffed with his arms behind his back, he said, uh, be strong, take it easy. Someone from the family hollered back to him, love ya. And then he turned around, the last things he said as he walked out the door, walking out of court, he said, no doubt, no fear. And someone from the family hollered back, none. What a poignant moment in today where he walked in strong this morning before these verdicts, he walked out in handcuffs.